up YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Food Fishing Channel. Are you guys ready? Ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the year. It is time for my first out of state fishing trip of 2021. The Champa Bay edition. Anyways, today and the next few days, Extreme Full of Fishing is going to be exploring and fishing different fishing spots around the Tampa Bay area. And as a matter of fact, follow me here real quick. Today, we're actually here at the Hillsboro Bay. I believe that this area right here to my right is called the Davis Island. Beautiful, beautiful place. The spot looks very productive. And I tell you all what, our main objective of the day right look at this water is to find out what is swims in this bay area during the month of february albeit i will have to say as always the main objective for this entire trip right will be to explore different spots to fish to catch new species to my life list i am currently at 309 and to catch a bunch of different species of fish that I will be able to submit to the 1000 species mission account on Instagram. If you don't know what that is about, I am going to make a video on it in the future. Go check it out. Hit a follow, okay, on that account because that is like top of the crop, all right? So follow me. Let's get the gear set up for the day for what hopefully it's going to be a very productive day out here. You know what they say, right? Sitting in the morning sun. As a matter of fact, I am going to be here until the evening comes. So, all right, let's go. Check this out. This is our secret bait of the day. I brought this all the way from Philadelphia, all right? On my Amtrak ride. Now, I know you may be looking at this right now and be like, wow, Leo, ain't that just a regular shrimp oh no this is indonesian shrimp man that i bought for 3.99 a pound at acme back in philly okay very darn good shrimp <laughs> so anyways i just got my first rod of the day rigged up uh, i'm going to be running like three rods man technique of the day like uh strategy of the day nothing special soaking bait here at the bay as you guys can see carolina rig on this rod two odd gamakatsu hook and man this place looks very very shallow to begin with which doesn't mean of course that there is no fish but i'm just going to punch this thing out there and let's see oh it's actually not that shallow out there it looks shallow right in front here but out there is a good four feet not bad at all so that's the strategy <laughs> so that's the strategy of the day soaking bait with shrimp man and see if some new species are going to show up <sighs> all right let's try it over here a little bit i was just over there right so we walked a little bit Let's set up our three rods over here and spend maybe another hour, an hour and a half here. And then if nothing, relocate again. Okay, we got that one out. Let's cast this one over here to the right side, a little bit closer. Oh yeah, I can tell you all already that this place over here is much, much deeper than it was over there so i mean you never know right maybe we're going to catch something here in the deeper deeper area of the bay oh oh dude we just got a bite on the little rod and i think the fish is on oh look at that band hell yeah let's go get it oh yeah my friends it is banding and the fish is on don't forget though it is an ultra light rod so this band <laughs> this band could just be it's pulling drag too i mean but this band just could be like a tiny tiny fish you never know all right this fish is on 100 on man let's see what we got here it's going to be our first fish of the day dude i saw that band 
Daiwa Spimatic, Sedona 500. All right, let's see. I wonder what our first Tampa Bay species is going to be, huh? Yeah, still pulling a little bit, man. Dude, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Is it a... What is that? Oh, it's a trout. Look at that, huh? Wow. It's a speckled sea trout. First victim of the day. Bit on the shrimp, all the way on the bottom, too. Got my waterproof socks with me today, so we're good. Look at this beauty, huh? Ooh, ooh easy, easy, bro, easy. Yeah, all right. Beautiful, beautiful fish right here. First one of the day. <laughs> what a way to get the day started, huh? I can't say that I wasn't expecting this fella, but at the same time, I definitely did not expect this to be our first species of this trip at all. So right here, we got a beautiful sample, all right? Spotted sea trout, right? Or a speckled sea trout, the Sinocion nebulosus. It is not a new species for me. I'm gonna put it back in the live well because they are quite sensitive. If you guys remember, my first one ever came when I was in Virginia fishing College Creek with my father and my mother. Remember that? That's when I caught my lifer. But regardless, man, I'm quite happy, you know? I don't know what are the rules and regulations for the species down here in Florida. I don't currently have a kitchen in my hotel, so I'm going to just release it. Let's do it. Got to be very careful with the rocks over here. I do not think that this fish is going to need any reviving. It has been inside a live well and it's been pretty lively. All righty, let's release it right around here. Look at that, huh? Very similar to the wick fish that we have in the northeast, huh? The Sinocion Hegalis. All right, going back where it belongs. Wow, look at that, huh? How beautiful it is. Look at the teeth in front, too. Oh, yes, gorgeous. Swimming down there. Doesn't even know what happened. Wasn't even on the live shrimp, you know what I'm saying? People usually catch it on the live shrimp. It was like just a dead piece of shrimp down there. No bites on that rod yet. But hey, I'm actually quite happy. You know, at least we caught something today. Hey, I tell you all what, Indonesian shrimp, man. Indonesian shrimp high low rig is where it is at. It's been a very, very slow morning today so far. So I was quite happy to see that one show up. <laughs> all right, man, shrimp's working. Let's soak some more bait. Feels like something took our shrimp here, but could have just been the current. Let me see. Oh no, that was definitely a fish. Oh yeah, it's on, boy. It's on. Oh, it was on. I may have lost it. Gosh darn it, I lost it. Oh no, it's still on, it's still on. It's a tiny one, but it's still on. Goodness gracious, what is it? What is down there? Oh, of course. Of course it is a pink fish. <laughs> boy, second species of our Tampa Bay trip. Oh, and this one inhaled it, man. Look at that, it's all bleeding. I'm gonna save it as cut bait. But what we got right here is the Lago Don Homeboy, this. A lot of people tend to underestimate the pinfish as bait. Never forget, my father hooked that sawfish on a small, tiny piece of pinfish and about this size hook too, back in the days, huh? If you guys watched that video, remember that? So, man, you catch one of these out there in the bay. Ah! Yeah, all right, that's good. One ounce sinker I got, because the current's not that bad. If this one goes off today, fellas, oh yeah, you know it's going to be good. All right, hear me out, people. There is some type of really weird fish biting right in front of me right around these rocks and i really believe that it is needlefish of some type so i just removed my sinker single hook with a piece of shrimp i'm going to free fall over here a little bit using this technique to see if we'll be able to land one and identify the sucker 
Come to me, needlefish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. Something got it. And I got him. And I got him. Come up here. You ain't going nowhere, son. Third species of the day. Some type. What did I tell you all? I told you it was some type of needle fish, boy. Hell yeah. Let's put it in the live well. Now let's check what type of needle fish this is. The bird already got wind of my catch. Look at that. Ah, uh, you want my needle fish, don't you, chicken? It's looking at here. I can see it drooling, you know? Anyways, let's find out first what type of needle fish this is. My man, this was a real good hook set too. Check this out. I'm going to show you guys here real quick. Right on the side of the mouth. Didn't go hook at all, right? Damn, man, that's what I call good hook set, boy. This one was not going anywhere. Size 18 hook is out of its mouth. Now let's check. Oh man, this is a red fin pickerel. Look at that. You can see by the red on its fins right over here. This is pretty cool. This is only my second one ever too. All right, we gotta be fast with this release here because these guys are actually pretty darn sensitive. And this one has been inside the live well for a little while. So uh, let me walk all the way out here. Now, I really, really hope this fella is going to be okay. Let's give it a little bit of time. It is wavy over here. Oh, oh, damn. All right, dude. Went away from the clutches of the Asian. You guys see it right slowly. It's swimming away. Oh, yeah. That one's going to be fine. It is already swimming against the current. Beautiful. So glad and so happy because it is not easy to release these guys over here at all, okay? You guys see all this little oyster type thingies over here <laughs> I can hurt myself you know because these are very sharp not to mention that the rocks over here are very slippery and it is wavy too but all right man I'm liking that three species we got two chicken oh did that chicken eat my pinfish bro that chicken ate my cut pinfish bro what the heck bro I saw it in its gullet going down its neck you ate my cut pinfish didn't didn't you Oh, hell yeah, it was right here. The cut bean fish was right here. You little... Later you complain you don't know why we Asians eat you guys, huh? You think this funny, huh? Dude, I saw the pink fish. I was over there releasing my needle fish. Man, what the heck, bro? You really can't make this up, huh? I was just there filming the release of the red thing, needle fish, right? And then... I just turn around like this, man, and I see the fish down going the gullet of the of the bird. Can you believe this? Always taking advantage of me, huh? Ah, you can't make this up, man. So here's EPF's advice of the day. EPF's tip of the day, okay? You come down here to Florida. Doesn't matter where it is. You just got to make sure, man, that you take good care of your bait, okay? Shrimp, cut bait, squid doesn't matter what you use make sure that you cover it nicely so that the birds and the wildlife they don't get to it okay especially if you still have hooks attached to the bait right man it's it's sad for me to say this but the birds have grown so accustomed to human beings fishing these areas they know fully how to take advantage of us right and sometimes that is not good for the wildlife itself so i'm telling you guys it's not just because i'm angry at the chicken i care about the damn that's right i care about you all right man i care about the damn chicken too dude we're getting a bite on the pink fish here and I have no idea what it is. Oh, 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 damn, dude. Damn, dude. Damn, dude. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. And some hits on the pinfish here, but the bite is very, very strange. What is this? It feels like it's swimming with it, but I don't feel it pooling. 
strange. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels like it's on it. Oh, it's on. Boy, on the pink fish. What could it be? Oh, I don't know, man. This one's been biting down there. Maybe a ray. Maybe some type of ray. Because the bite was very, very odd, man. And it's not pulling drag at all. I don't know. Oh, is that, is that a catfish? Dude, it's a catfish, I think. That's why. Weird ass bite, dude. It's a catfish. Hard head sea catfish. <laughs> Adiopsis. Adiopsis felis. You know, fellas, I've got a bunch of catfish before in my life. A bunch of hard head sea catfish. But this is the first time that I actually noticed this. This dude's got some big ass nostrils, man. Look at that. Look at the size of that nose right over there, huh? Beautiful fish though, huh? And very yummy too. But like I said, I don't have a kitchen. So it is time to put it back. No kitchen, no seafood. I mean, in this case, no fish, right? But uh, let me step right over here and over here. I think we are deep enough for this release now. Man, what a gorgeous fish, huh? Already wants to go, but I want to give you guys a view of this fish under the water. Look at that, huh? The barbels, the big nostrils right over here. Right, just gonna slowly let it go. And it is gone. Water is pretty cool, considering that the air temperature is so warm. Not bad. That was the species number four of the day. Yeah, no fish for you, homie. No fish for you. I hope you do realize that because of you, I don't have any cut bait left. That was my only piece of pinfish because someone, I'm not gonna say who, ate my pinfish right over here, huh? So now I have to catch another pinfish before I can soak some more cut bait. Oh my goodness, dude. Just got a huge bite on the little rod. You see how that rod is bent? Dude, it just bent and it did not come back. What fish is this, bro? It bent and it, it, it didn't go back? Like what? I never heard of stuff like this, bro. Dude, it's on. Whatever it is, it's on. <laughs> Weird bites, man. Oh, 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 dude, this one's pulling a little bit of drag, too. It's pulling a little bit of drag, too. I mean, I'm not as nagged. I can tell you all 100%. I am not as nagged. There's, there's a fish on here. It just bit. I don't know what happened. Oh, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 pulling a little bit of drag. It just bit, and it did not come back. So odd. Is it a catfish? Ray? Oh, it's a ray. I think it's a ray. Guys, our first ray of the day is coming up. Yeah, it's a ray. It's a ray. Look at that. Now, what type of ray? I don't know. But I'll try to land it here. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's just an Atlantic, but come over here, little fella. Oh, it's flapping. It's flapping. Not easy to land fish over here at all. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Come here with the waves. Come here with the waves. And gotta be careful with that barb, you know? The thing with rays is, is not it's not that I don't like them or anything, but just gotta watch out with that barb. That barb is the dangerous thing. All right, we gotta take it easy with this fella now, you know? Cause I don't wanna get stung by no barb in this fishing video. I'm just going to very gently clip the tail of the beast so that it doesn't swing the tail his tail around and I'm gonna use the other hand as always to support the beast so check it out huh? I think that we just got our run of the mill Atlantic stingray very very pointy is now as you guys can see right we got here the Hippanus Sabinus without any delay let's go release this guy over here now he man how am I gonna get down there while holding uh, its tail we have to figure this out uh well you know what first and foremost let's unclip this fella 
So unclipped real quick. And since this fell is unclipped, we have to be very careful where we put it. Oh, gotta be careful with the metal over here too. You know, I'm not gonna release this guy too way out. Okay, fellas, I hope you realize this is for my own safety as well, all right? So unclip in the water, all right? Oh, it's there, it's there. Just chilling, chilling on the bottom now. As you guys can see, I don't know why, but its nose is very red. Let me give it a little push to see if it is going to swim away. Oh yeah, look at that. Beautiful, man, beautiful. That one was like filled with energy. It's swimming all the way out there now. Awesome, five species to start the Tampa trip. I think this is about to call, it's good to call it, man. You know, let, let, let me go there to do the outro. My man, this is dangerous right over here. Look at these. And this is metal, I would like to point out, okay? So if you ever come here to Davis Island, Hillsboro Bay, just letting you all know, okay? Be very, very careful with the rocks over here. Especially if you have kids, you come here with kids, the rocks are very slippery. There are, there are a bunch of oysters over here that are very sharp, not to mention the metal over here. Make sure that you got a, a full tat in the shot, you know what I'm saying, before you come here. So as I was saying, five species to start this Champa Bay trip, right? That is very good, you know what I mean? That's not bad at all. We may not have caught any lifers for the life list, but those five species, I think, I'm able to submit it to the 1000 species mission account on Instagram, if you guys haven't heard about that yet, right? But I mean, you know, it's just a good day out here. Got my second ever speckled sea trout, right? That was pretty cool. Number wise, not very good. Diversity for the Bay Area, pretty neat. So I'm about to go get some lunch now. I'll see you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not gonna run the whole advertisement here, but you know what to do, right? If you enjoyed this video, man, make sure that you hit the bell, all right? So you keep getting then notifications for the new videos, okay? Especially 2021, as the COVID dies down. Whoo, you know EPF is gonna be traveling all over, boy. <laughs> all right, I'll see you, ladies and gentlemen, later. Tie lines and take it easy.